Um, <clears throat> good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jose Luis, and I consider myself part of the processing community, even though my most tangible contribution so far has not been that great. They're basically reduced to this one library that nobody ever downloads. <laughs> this pull request that Casey very politely turned down. This one. And a series of Daniel Schiffman memes that I'm really big fan of. But, um, but during the course of the past three years, I've been teaching this undergraduate class at Northeastern University called Programming Basics, where, where I've been trying to teach students the art of creative programming with processing as a platform. So during the course of one semester, I teach students to um, code from scratch, and we build up incrementally into a final project whose topic is freely and completely determined and chosen by each one of the students. Each one of those topics usually relate to the student's personal interest, career interest, professional, hobbies, you name it. And um, as you may imagine, with processing as a platform, a lot of those projects end up being uh, related to the visual arts. So for example, we've had um, a lot of video game projects. We had projects where student ex students explored the possibilities of creative drawing in novel ways through processing. We have a lot of um, typography related projects, and I'm certain that this is going to make the processing creators very happy. Um, and um, we, also, um, we also have a lot of students who explore the creative possibilities of uh, image recognition, computer vision, and combining it with um, other media to create interactive and playful experiences, which, as we already know, uh, processing is really good at doing. Right. Um, but um, and music, we usually have a lot of music projects, and this is. Um, but a lot of the projects, and this is what strikes me as surprising every semester, a lot of the projects also uh, tapped on uh, the students' interest in particular topics that relate more to their human concerns, the social uh, issues, and even sometimes their own personal struggles. So for example, we've had, um, so for example, Katie here uh, did a project where she was trying to help herself overcome her childhood fear to snakes. Um, um, Juliana, created a, an application where she was trying to raise awareness about how sexual education, traditional sexual education in schools, is extremely constrained, is very biased, and does not represent the plurality and the diversity that real sexual life out there in the world usually have, has. Um, uh, for example, Rachel tried to use data visualization to make a statement about how women have been traditionally underrepresented and neglected by art institutions in the, 10th to, in the 20th century and unfortunately beyond. Um, and Sarah, who is a convinced vegan, she made a data visualization application where she tried to raise awareness about the impact that our traditional eating habits are having in, in our environment. Um, furthermore, Jacqueline was very unhappy with the result of the recent elections, and she blamed social media for biasing the way we understand news. So she tried to create a project where she exposed, um, uh, she exposed users to as many political different views as possible. Um, Fraser was concerned about mental health, mental disorders, and tried to represent the struggle that people who suffer from depression go through. And Alex herself uh, used to go through personal struggles and strokes of anxiety. So she created an application to help her cope with anxiety by keeping her fingers busy on the keyboard, not biting them, and then venting out her feelings and the thoughts that were creating her anxiety in this application. So I think my point here tonight is that um, if all of us as a community, and this includes the processing creators, contributors, the board of members, coders, activists, uh, contributors, and educators, if we all, with our work, are being able to enable 
young people and new generations to express themselves creatively, but also to make strong statements about pressing issues in our social and human context, such as gender equality, health issues, sexual education, and the environment, etc. then I think all of us together, we're doing something really good here. And I wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you for that.